Hi Greetings, today I will show you how to draw the auxiliary view of a square prism. So I will not be drawing the full thing, I will just be showing you how to draw basically the square and then the front view. So the most important part of this drawing is to draw the square. Remembering that the front view is sitting at 30 degree angle. So let's get into it. The first thing that you do, you can see there that our, our circle, I mean our square, has a length of 30. So we're going to use radius 15 to draw a circle that will give us diameter. 30. So this is 15. You take your compass, okay. take your compass, you put it there in the middle where you have your starting point, and then using construction lines, you're going to draw a circle. And then from there, you're going to take your 30 degree set square. Ensure that it's sitting like this. It's sitting like this on your paper or your drawing board. Ensure that it's facing that direction, this direction here. So it's sitting like this on top of your T square. And then when you are done, you will take your 45 degree and ensure that it is sitting like this, directly like this, on top of the 30 degree set square. So let me just zoom out a little, just so you are able to see how my instruments are sitting. So at any point, you should ensure that at any point you do not move it around. It only has to move up and down and I'm referring to the 45 degree set square and then for your 30 degree set square you must ensure that it doesn't move at all so when I start drawing I must ensure that it's sitting in a position that will not allow it to disturb when I'm drawing so I will put it like that and then put my 45 on top and then just like that, I'm going to move my 45 degree set square up and then draw a tangent. Remember, a tangent is a line that touches a circle once at one point. So we did that, now we're going to move down. So when you move down, you will have a tangent there. And then you will move all the way up in order to draw on this side. And then that's when you can darken. Still drawing a tangent. You can darken it there. It's not moving your 30 but your 45 degree set square. Then you will have your other side like that. Just move it a little. Then you have your other line there and then you're going to have your line passing there and then the last one and there we have our square so ensure that the only way you move your set square your 45 degree set square is up up and down and then your 30 degree set square does not move so once you are done with that your set square still at a 30 degrees because our front view is sitting at a 30 degree angle you come here using construction lines and transfer your points And then obviously these two will share a point and then the last part would be 
D. So now we have our line. So let's say this is point one, two, three, and four. And then from point one, we will measure ten so that you can start, you can draw your original XY line. So you have ten there, and then you will use a sixty degree side on the 30-60 side square. The reason why we use a 60 is because we want to draw a line that is perpendicular to these lines that are going at a 30 degree. So a 60 degree line, so now we know that this line, the XY line, the XY line is perpendicular to the lines that we used for projection and then from there you will measure 10 so that you can start drawing your front view so you measure 10 and then you draw the base there then you measure 34 so here is 35 so here is 34 and once you get 34 just use a construction here so that and then complete this line using the 30 and then the 34. Then you are done with your given views. So from here you will normally do your normal labeling. So this point which was 4. This means that this line will be 4, this is 3 and 1, they share this point here, so it will be 3, 1, again 3, 1, and then this one, we, trans we transferred point 2, so it will be 2. So this is how you would draw your given points. The auxiliary view here, and then the front view. From there, you just transfer your points down, copy the XY line, and then start tracing your points.